take a look at how to do a stop motion animation using Google Slides. And um, now I'm, I chose to do a math solving equation here, but you could do this with comic characters or whatever you wanted. Um, now you'll see as I go through these the slide deck over here, um, you'll see what happens. It shows how to solve this equation and you know how to check your work and things like that. Uh, there's actually a total of 88 slides here. All right, and some things that I use a lot when I'm doing this. Uh, if I click on the slide over here and I right click, I can go to duplicate slide. Uh, the shortcut, shortcut for that is control D, um, which also works a lot. Like uh, if I have this word art here and I want to duplicate this, control D will duplicate it. Um, so a little shortcut there. That also works in Google Drawings as well. And another tip or trick that I use is uh, this is an image. I'll go to image options and I can change the transparency here of that image. All right, so I use that a lot. And with word art, to change the transparency, uh, if you click on the paint bucket here, you can change the brightness by staying within this orange column. Or if you go to custom, uh, this, uh, this slider here will adjust the transparency. I hit OK, and now it's more transparent. All right, so let's see, how do we get this into a video then? Um, I could present this, but then I have to use my left and right arrow keys 80 times to get through the entire presentation. Or if I go to File, Publish to the Web, I have some options here. I can start the slideshow as soon as the player loads, which I'm going to check. And I'm also going to change this. This is going to auto advance my slide every three seconds. I can change that to every one second, and I'm going to hit Publish. Hit OK. Grab this link and open it up in a new tab. And my presentation should start. And every one second, it is going through a new slide, which is painfully slow. So let's see if we can fix this. If you go up to the URL, you'll see some interesting things in here. Um, first off, where it says PUB, that means it's a published file. Where it says start equals true, that's the auto start. If I change the word true to false, it wouldn't start automatically. Uh, where it says loop equals false, that means it's when it gets to the end, it's not going to loop back to the first slide. I can change that to true, and it would go all the way back around, and it would keep playing and playing and playing. This delay, all right, these are milliseconds. So right now, it's at 1,000 milliseconds. I can change that from 1,000, which would be one second, to 500. And I'm going to hit Enter. which is a little bit faster. I think it's still slow. Let me pause this and go back to the first slide. All right, that's still slow. So can I go back and change that URL from 500 to say 100? So I'm changing this, the speed in which it goes from one slide to the next. So let's check out 100. Right, which seems a little bit better. It might actually be too fast. So at this point, I would recommend, let's pause this, and maybe change. I'm going to go to 150 and see what that's like. All right. And let's start this from slide one. We'll hit play. And so we're going to solve 2x plus 3 equals 9. All right, and this seems like a good speed. All right, and there's your check. Um, if you found that like something went too quickly through a certain point, um, what you could do is just go back into your slide deck and just duplicate some of those slides until they, they, there's four or five of that one same slide, which will make it last even longer.